Hello and welcome! The Nintendo Wii U is home to many virtual console titles, including some that have never been released in North America. And today I will show you how to extract these ROMs from your dumpling backups. But first, a quick message from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Store. If you're looking for a one-stop shop for a replacement stylus for your Nintendo DS and 3DS systems, why not visit the 16-Bit Store? We've designed and 3D printed our own styluses from the original Nintendo DS all the way to the new Nintendo 3DS. So if you're in the market for a replacement stylus, why not visit the 16-Bit Store today? And if you use offer code 16BITREVIEW on Etsy, you'll get 15% off your order when you buy two items or more. As always with these backups guides, this is for backing up your games. This doesn't mean that you can share them with your friends or distribute them online, as that is piracy and that is illegal. If you want some more information about backups, please watch our video or extra credits video about the subject. Now, to extract your Wii U Virtual Console ROMs, you'll need to first back up your games with the Dumpling Homebrew app. I've made another guide going over how to do that. Now, once you've backed up your Virtual Console titles, move them over to a computer running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, and follow the guide provided by Lend U-N-I-T-U-S. I am not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> Anyways, if you have NES, SNES, Game Boy Advance, Famicom System games, or TurboGrafx-16 games, download the Wii U VC Extractor application for the OS that you are on. And if you have Wii games, please download the NFS to ISO to NFS. I'll touch a bit more about the Wii backups later on in this guide. To start, we're going to be using the Wii U VC Extractor application. It's a pretty easy to use command line tool, and depending on what platform you're on, you might not even need to use or to load the command line. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to extract my NES, SNES, and Game Boy Advance games. But do note that Famicom Disk System and TurboGrafx-16 games use the same method. All you'll need to do is find the RPX file in the code folder of your game's backup. Then you'll just need to run the Wii U VC Extractor application with the RPX file as an argument. For Windows, you can literally just drag the RPX file and drop it onto the Wii U VC Extractor EXE. And in mere moments, your game will be extracted and will be ready to play on whatever platform that you want to play on. Now that's how you back it up for everything except Game Boy Advance games, because Game Boy Advance games are a little special on the Wii U. Method similar, but what you'll need to do is to find the psm.m file in the content folder. Once you find the ROM, just drag and drop it onto the uh, Wii U VC extractor like you did with all the other games, and in moments the game is extracted in the proper format and will work perfectly on the platform of your choosing. Next, we'll be extracting N64 and DS games. And funnily enough, there's no need for any specialized tools to back up these ROMs. Since they are already formatted in the correct format, and all you'll really need to do is to rename file extensions or to extract zip files. So, find your virtual console backup for these games and go into its contents folder. Here you'll find another folder or file called ROM. Inside you will find your game. For N64 ROMs all you'll need to do is to rename the file that's in the folder with the extension .z64. And for DS games you'll need to extract the zip file and rename the contents within it to .nds. Once done 
These ROMs are ready to be used and played on whatever platform that you intend on running them on. With that said, I did have issues with my DS game backups. I'm not entirely certain what's the cause of it, but after backing up my copy of Mario Kart that I purchased from the Wii U eShop and comparing it with the physical title that I own, the Wii U backup appears to be modified in some way from the original release. It might be using a newer recompilation code or perhaps the latest DSSDK. Regardless on what they did do to it, from my testing, the Wii U backups of your games will have problems running on newer R4 flash cards. Older R4 cards will run the games just fine, and I had no issues running them in Twilight Menu for 3DS and on the Nintendo DSi. However, when I tried to run these backups on my R4 Gold, regardless of the platform, I just get a white screen when I try to load the game. And the only way I was able to get Mario Kart to work was when I replaced the header file with the uh, header file from my original DS backup. And lastly, let's talk about extracting Wii game ISOs. Now they are a bit different from uh, the other backups since the game disc has been split up into multiple NFS files, but I've had no luck creating these backup files. Whether I tried through dumpling, through FTP software, or trying to extract them from a Wii U formatted USB and trying to decrypt the USB with the actual keys that I created through my uh, backing up the NAND, nothing I did worked. From the age of the homebrew and the guys that I've seen working, I have to assume that either I'm doing something colossally wrong, or in the latest stability patch for the Wii U, Nintendo added something to prevent me from backing these games up to another device. If you could or have found a way to back up your Wii games, the NFS2 ISO to NFS application can stitch the individual files back together to make a single Wii disc, and that disc should be usable in Dolphin. This tool is also used to back up, or sorry, convert Wii game discs to NFS files so that you can inject them into the Wii U Virtual Console so that it's, your Wii games are playable from your Wii U's uh, main menu. So that's how you extract your Wii U Virtual Console title ROMs from your Wii U backups. Now, there are other ROM collections on the Wii U, like the ones found in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and the NES Remix games. However, these games require a different set of tools, which I've had no luck in finding at this point in time. And really, the main focus of this video is focusing purely on the eShop Virtual Console titles, as at the time of this video, the stores will be closing shortly. But anyways, Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have yourself a good day, and as always, take care.